Look out! What the hell is that? Hey! You want a piece of me? Stay calm, Law. It's coming for us. You just had to make things different. Go for us, didn't you? What are you muttering about? Focus or you'll get hurt! Don't worry. I'll have this wrapped up in a flash. Take this! Their armor is locked in. In a vine? 
was with that creature? It was some sort of a Zoogle that could control light. Ringwell, do you think that could have been... The true form of the Phantom Flower? No, it couldn't be. What makes you so sure? Because... What the... Whoa! What the hell is that? Is the enemy back for more? Whatever it is, it's freaking huge! You guys, calm down. It's okay. It's probably... No, it's definitely the Phantom Flower of Nibira! I read about it in that book we found earlier. It was described as a mysterious light floating up in the sky. It's not dangerous at all. In fact, this is the place it was first discovered. So that's how it got its name, then. You sure it's not some enemy astral art being cast at us? Positive. I think it's just a rare and unusual weather phenomenon more than anything else. Cislodia obviously used to be covered in darkness around the clock. But with that gone, I guess that's why we're able to see this again? You could be right. It's so pretty, though, isn't it? Sure, but it's so big we could have seen it from town just fine, couldn't we? Well, sure, but still. Hey, who cares where we saw it? I'm just glad we got to see it at all. Besides, that Zoogle was what kept us from seeing it before, right? Yeah, I guess so. It's such a gorgeous night sky here. You should really bring Xion out to watch it. Right. Right. I'll, uh, do that. It took a lot to get here, but I can't help but feel like a dream of mine came true. Thanks, Law. I didn't do all that much, really. Well, I still really appreciate it. It made me really, really happy. Uh, hey, uh, you know I... Oh, it looks like you can see it even better from over there. I'm gonna go check it out. Huh? Hey, wait! Renwell. I see you've got your relics all lined up again. What are you doing? Huh? They're so bright now. Oh, it's you two. I was merely tending to my collection. D don't you think you've polished them enough by now? <sighs> you take better care of your relics than you do yourself. I try to take good care of them. However, no matter how much work I put in, it refused to respond. I thought you could hear their voices somehow. I can, but that's all I can do with them. I can't actually engage in conversation with them. Not yet. What are they saying? Did they really want you to polish them that much? <sighs> You're right. I was so enraptured with them. I may have selfishly failed to consider their own wishes. I must open my mind and sincerely engage with them in earnest. He never gets tired of his relics, does he? Nope. It is interesting to look at them when they're all lined up together like this, though. Like how these two have similar designs. 
It makes me wonder if they were made in the same period. An excellent observation. Yes, I too suspect they're somehow intimately related as well. I don't see what you two are talking about at all. Hmm? What's this? Why, that smear wasn't there previously. Could it be responding to my voice at long last? Hmm. It's rather viscous and has a distinct aroma to it. Ah, uh, Hoodle! These relics are no place for you to do your business! <laughs> I'm serious! These are priceless pieces of history! <sighs> Come on, Dohalim. Let's go wash your hands before you catch anything weird. What a wonderful treasure this is. Remember to tell me if you need healing. I expect you'll be in high demand if that's the case. <laughs>